Hello, today we are going to discuss about modern construction materials part 3 which mainly includes thermal and acoustic insulating materials, decorative panels and waterproofing materials. As we know that there are variety of modern construction materials being used nowadays. This is mainly because of its ambience, cost, reliability, durability etc. Some of these materials are architectural glass, ceramics, plastics, composite materials, thermal and acoustic insulating materials, decorative panels, waterproofing materials, etc. In the third part of modern construction materials, we are going to discuss about thermal and acoustic insulating materials, decorative panels and waterproofing materials. Let's start with thermal and acoustic insulating materials. These materials mainly reduce the transfer of thermal energy, thereby making a room cooler than the exterior. The different types of thermal insulating materials are fiberglass, mineral wool, cellulose, polyurethane forms, polystyrene, aerogel and pyrogel. Fiberglass. It is made by effectively weaving fine strands of glass into an insulation material. It is non-flammable and cheap. Mineral wool. They are mainly of three types, glass wool, rock wool, slag wool. Glass wool is prepared from recycled glass, rock wool from basalt, slag wool from slag from steel mills. They are not fire resistant, hence to be used only with any fire resistant material. Cellulose. Cellulose is eco-friendly. It is made from recycled cardboard, paper, etc. They are fire resistant. They may sometimes cause allergies, but they are cheap and effective. Polyurethane forms. They are good insulating capacity, lightweight and are fire resistant. It can be easily sprayed. They are not eco-friendly. Polystyrene. They are waterproof thermoplastic form. They have good sound and thermal insulation. They have a smooth surface. They are flammable, hence need fireproofing chemical coating. Aerogel and pyrogel. Aerogel can withstand heat up to 2000 degree Fahrenheit. They allow little or no heat transfer. Pyrogel. They are efficient industrial insulation material. 50 to 80 percentage less thickness is required and they are expensive. Now let's see acoustic insulating materials. As we know, noise is an unwanted sound. It can be outdoor or indoor. Acoustic materials are mainly used in recording studios, radio or television stations. The different types are acoustic foam, sound insulation bats, acoustic panels or boards, acoustic fabrics, acoustic coatings, floor underlayment, architectural soundproofing. Acoustic foam. They are commonly called studio foam. It has wedge or pyramid shape. It is used as wall panels and can be hung from ceilings. Sound insulating bats. They are made from mineral wool and fiberglass. They are designed to fit between studs of wall to take up air space that can transmit sound. Acoustic panels or boards. They are decorative version, available in different colors, patterns and fabrics. Acoustic fabrics, they are thicker and heavier than other fabrics. They are used in theater curtains. Acoustic coatings. Materials like mass loaded vinyl or MLV, a dense rubber like material is used as acoustic coating. Floor underlayment. Decoupling of the flooring surface and subfloor is done to reduce noise transmission. Cork, polymers, etc. are used. Architectural soundproofing. Soundproof windows, walls, doors are used for this purpose. They reduce echo and reverberation. 
they have built in water fluid repellent property they are extremely tough and durable they are used in halls music rooms stadiums swimming pools restaurants offices and call centers next we are going to discuss about decorative panels decorative panels they improve the ambience or aesthetic appeal of rooms lobbies etc they help to protect the wall from damage the different types of decorative panels used are natural wood panels chipboard fiberboard mdf gypsum panels fabric panels leather panels glass panels pvc panels etc natural wood panels they may be used to cover a wall completely or form a dado they provide insulation against heat it gives a warm and elegant feeling wood paneling may be solid or veneered wood paneling it lasts for years with little maintenance if proper precaution are taken against wood worm chipboard fiberboard mdf wall panels chipboard they made by hot pressing of chips and sawdust they subjected to temperature drops and high level of humidity they are mainly suitable for dry areas fiberboard they are produced by hot pressing they are less prone to moisture and are eco friendly mdf they are formed by dry pressing of wood shavings under high temperature and pressure they can withstand sufficient load they are resistant to moisture and has heat and sound insulation they are durable gypsum panels they are quite durable and reliable mostly used to build walls partitions and even ceilings fabric panels they are decorative sound absorbing panels they are durable and used in restaurants theaters etc leather panels they used for interior wall decorations designed with many fashionable patterns and textures in 3d leather surfaces they are waterproof smoke proof and moisture proof glass panels they are well suited for constructing walls and other barriers in commercial and residential setting with careful operation they can last quite a long time pvc panels they can be safely used for almost any room even in the shower they are water resistant fire resistant they are hygienic and have long life next we are going to discuss about waterproofing materials waterproofing means applying a layer of impervious material the commonly used materials include cementitious material liquid waterproofing membrane like acrylic liquid membrane polyurethane liquid membrane bituminous emulsion membrane preformed waterproofing membrane waterproofing paints like masonry paint acrylic paint epoxy paint cementitious waterproofing material they are the easiest method of waterproofing easily available easy to mix and apply they mainly used in bridges dams tunnels water treatment plants etc liquid waterproofing membrane a thin coat which consists of usually a primer coat and two coats of top coats they are applied by spray roller or trowel the liquid cures into a rubbery coating on the wall the types include acrylic liquid membrane which is suitable for areas with long exposure to the sunlight polyurethane liquid membrane it is used for flat roof area this method is expensive and it is sensitive to moisture content present bituminous emulsion membrane they are used for low slope roofs and are not suitable for exposed to sunlight preformed waterproofing membrane they have been used since ages they have joints and cannot be applied in difficult geometrical structures they require technical applicators the repairs are costly example tar felt plastic felt app membrane pvc etc 
waterproofing paints mainly include masonry paint, acrylic paint and epoxy paint. They are used for example for the terraces of buildings. So that's all about the part 3 of the modern construction materials. Thank you.